So hello and welcome back to how to create your virtual studio and in part 4 all we're gonna do is you can see here this is what we created on a previous video on part 3 I'll just let's click play and preview so you can see what we got left with so this is what we uh, created up to now so what we're going to do now is key out the green and add the video there okay so I already got a video here I already done here video ready here for us to use on this uh, chroma key so just try that to Sony Vegas push it to the beginning go back there and I'm gonna get the video put it here okay this is the video we're gonna use on the TV now if I go ahead to do this what I'm gonna do is I actually want to be frame color in the background so I'm just gonna go here to Magic Generator Solid Color Let's use the red for now. Okay, that will do. The next, go back to video effects. Let's go to chroma key, green screen. Just put that there, and that pretty much removed already. Okay, and basically what we want to do there is come the threshold a little bit, and then the high threshold, low threshold, high threshold. Down. Let's see what this looks like when we actually get the video then. So the video. Now all we need to do is resize the video. So invent panic crop. Extend this here. It should be about there. Now you can see as we still got a problem to find the edges of the video because the video is black. I'm gonna do is get this red color we got here. I'm gonna put it on the bottom here so you can actually see what we're doing. So, because the red color will be the third color behind the, the TV. And so, if I use here the event pan crop and I go any smaller on the size of the screen of the TV, you can see that red appears there. And I just need to position this. There. Okay, now again because I'm in sync, I need to delete this key. Remember this happened on a previous video. Okay, so we know that this should be about there. Now again, we're gonna change this here to 3D Alpha, and we're gonna use our track motion. And again, this is a 30. Okay, and then hold the corner, make it smaller, and then just reposition that. Until we don't see any reds. Okay, and that looks is in the right place. Let's click play. And as you can see, we just created a backgreen studio, so how to create your virtual studio. There it goes. There it goes. So here is how you can create your own virtual studios. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one more video, a couple of bonus, uh, a couple of things that we can do to make this even more uh, having that. Uh, real feel to the studio.